All right, everybody, welcome back to WFO's 12 Rigs of Christmas. We're standing here with Andrew and Aaron, and both of them work in our manufacturing department. And so they're going to tell us a little bit about what they do at WFO and a little bit about their rig. So Andrew came to me through 49er ROP. Uh, the teacher named Al called me and said, I know you don't like these kids that don't work hard, but I got one that you're going to want. And I heard that he worked at Rayleigh's doing groceries, so we sent Kevin over there as a kind of a spy, and he packed up Kevin's groceries, and you, did you do a good job? Oh, I tried. Did Put you even know that you were being tested that day? I had no idea. So he had no clue. So we uh, got him in to do ROP, and he kicked ass. He was here early, left late, always working on his own projects, learning stuff, and uh, eventually we sucked him away from Rayleigh's, and uh, he's been working here ever since. And uh, has progressed and now he's in the manufacturing department. He's welding, grinding, uh, running the CNC plasma. What are some of the things you've learned just in this, what's it been, a year? It's been about a year and a couple months now. He's, by the way, he just turned 18 years old. Just turned 18. Right? Um, no. It's been about six months. Yeah, young and fresh. Yeah. Um, so what, what have you learned here? A lot about fabrication. Um, when I first started out, I had this thing with IFS. I had no idea what I was doing. Take it out on some dirt road and think I was wheeling. And now he's actually taken to the Rubicon. Well, let's show him, tell, tell him what this is. What year is this? So this is my 1993 Toyota 4Runner, four-wheel drive. Started out with a... Uh, I bought it from a guy with a four inch pro comp lift on it. IFS. An IFS. Not really a fan of that. So I, this is my third Toyota axle. I uh, designed and built this front guard and upper truss for this thing. Nobody all, makes these. All so. on solid works here at the shop, right? All on solid As works. As you were learning how to do it, Kevin helped you yeah. uh, do yeah, that. He was yep. a big help. I got my classic Toyota Knuckles painted orange. These are actually reeds, not <laughs> released yet. <laughs> Super strong. Um, so the funny story is I had an axle under here at one point that I jumped and it bent like a taco. Didn't last very long. We were so trying to, to teach him it. how to wheel and he may have hit things a little hard. So you bent that front housing, what, a week after you put it in there? Oh, that was two days after I put two it days. in there. Two so, days. So a lesson learned for sure. Real quick. Yeah. I've got a WFO front drop box on there. It's been super strong. Bashed on it a few times, never had any issues. So some of the WFO stuff, you got U-bolts, U-bolt plates, front box drop. Um, do you have the rear 63 kit? I do. Yep, I got the 63 kit. Uh, I built the sliders in the rear bumper here. So during this 12 days of Christmas, don't remember, or, or remember, or, or remember, to use the code 12 rigs and you can get 12% off on any of the WFO parts that we've been using on these trucks. So basically suspension, box drops, things like that off of Andrews. Is there anything um, you want to do differently or add to this? Eventually, I'm getting rid of this hunk right here. So this thing has the three-point slow this V6. Is the uh, notorious three-liter. If you're building a Toyota, try not to get one with a three-liter. Has yet to blow the head gasket, but I'm sure she's close. Um, I'm going to be throwing a Mercedes OM617 diesel in here because you got to roll fat black clouds, and why not? Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add to this? Uh, eventually I'm going to go with one tons and I'm definitely going to link it because the leaf springs really don't drive very well. It's comfortable, but it's not perfect. Thanks Andrew for showing us your 93 Forerunner. I can't wait to see the tons and forties on this thing. So we're going to change it up a little bit and we're going to go see Aaron's 79 Toyota. working the shop a few months now and he works in the manufacturing department as well and Aaron you are a head welder and so any anybody who gets box drops shock towers suspension parts that are welded by us Aaron's the one welding them now and he is laying down dimes so tell us about your truck as a 79 uh, Toyota 22 re-swapped, full smog delete. So, okay, what we really want to see is the 79 <laughs> Toyota. Yep. It's got quite a few primer panels, dents. Yeah. 15 inch rims and Super Swamper TSLs. Oh, really? I mean, all I right, think this guy right. was born, you know, about 20 years too late, but 
How long does it take for these tires to warm up? At least 30 minute drive, at least. 30 minutes and then it yeah. starts to, and so like when you come, when you drive uh, this thing to work in the morning, what do you? It's still pulling in and it's still. But you Jared. know what? You got to sacrifice that to have oh, yeah. TSLs. Everybody 100%. knows that. So, 79 Toyota, screw it. Show us what's under the hood. Oh, look at that. You even got a hood prop and everything. <laughs> so, full 22 re swapped, um, full smog delete. Where'd you get this engine, first of all? I pulled it out of a Toyota Celica. I bought the whole Celica for 900 bucks and swapped it all. That takes a lot of initiative to buy a junk car, take the engine out learn the entire wiring harness yep. and what what did you do with the wiring harness come check this out i made the whole wire harness from injector ccu built everything himself built everything. so see all the wiring here all tucked in everything so none all... of this is the celica wiring he basically went from each sensor and each injector and each part on the engine and built his own wiring harness i mean how many young kids you see building their own harness swapping in a fuel ejected engine and everything works perfect, right? Perfect. Every day I get in it, it starts right up. Drives this thing to work. Besides the fact he's shaking it all the way in, you know, <laughs> it runs good. And then now right. it has dual cases in it, yep. right? Dual cases, 529 axles, stock, stock, dual cases. And uh, got your drive lines all dialed in. Yep. And then what kind? What WFO parts do you have on here? The front drop box. Yeah, drop box. You got uh, the U-bolt hangers, spring hangers. Basically, he had most of this built when he started working for us. Um, but then he did have some of our components already on it. So what are you going to do differently? What do you want to change or add to this thing? I'm probably link the front eventually. Everybody wants to link yeah, the front, I huh? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with leaf springs. You know, this is what I grew up with leaf springs and these guys have it and they want to get rid of it. Yeah. But you know, tell us about this roll bar. Old school. <laughs> Dude, that thing's pretty sweet. Have yeah. you ever used those tracks up there? I have. I just broke them like two weekends ago. I feel like you young guys are yeah. carrying those things around. They actually they do work. work. They work. Whatever happened to just digging and getting out? I got a shovel too. All right. I got a shovel. Yep. Uh, is there anything else uh, you want to show us in here that's kind of trick about this rig? Come take uh, a look inside, man. Four point harnesses. Diamond plate door panels. CB radio. You got a five speed in it, obviously, yep. right? Five speed. Oh, look at that speaker and amplifier. You got to be yeah. bumping. All right, there's one more thing up front we skipped over underneath the hood, but come check this out. So Aaron took the initiative and he mounted a York air compressor on the front of the engine and it's plumbed to the front and rear for full onboard air. So he's got unlimited air as long as the engine's running. So anyway, I hope you liked uh, Aaron and Andrew's rigs and make sure you tune in tomorrow to see what the next WFO 12 rigs of Christmas is.